We'll begin in the uh, knee pile. Doesn't matter which side, we'll do both. We'll do a little alternate nostril breathing. Um, I'm selecting my right hand for now. We'll switch everything in a moment. Um, inhale for, oh, let's go about eight count and then 12 out. So no hold, in, out, in, out. So we'll start there. Letting the sit bones and the tailbone sink down. Feeling the neck joints grow buoyant. So the crown of the head moves towards sky. And then when you're at a completion point, we'll switch sides, we'll switch hands, and we'll go the other way. So we've got our other knee on top, other hand, and we're just going in and out, eight in, 12 out. Alternate nostril breathing with no holds. And then finishing up. So seated spinal twist, we'll go with the left over the right. This is my right leg on the bottom. My right foot is by my left hip. The sole of left foot on the ground. Inhale the left hand down, the right arm up. And then exhaling, hooking that right elbow over that thigh. And just letting breath massage the spine into movement. Just that simple act of expanding the ribs, letting breath move the bones of the ribs.
We're working that breath all the way up to the upper back. I suspect those upper back bones and the upper ribs, there may be a less, less breath movement. So working, working up into those areas. And release, inhaling. We'll switch sides. Ankle is beside the hip. And the sole of right foot's on the ground. The right hand is on the ground. Inhaling, pressing down with the right, reaching up with the left. Exhaling, hook that elbow over the thigh. So we're twisting to our right. And release, inhaling, unwind. Just get the legs moving, the, the gut moving. And with the feet off the ground, the knees over the hips. And begin to melt with the knee. Inhale the head and the shoulders off the ground. And then shifting the tailbone very slightly. More of a locating the tailbone. Exhale, reach the left leg out. Both elbows reach toward the right bent leg. Drawing low belly down to feel deep, deep between those hip bones. Inhale, come back centrally. And we'll shift in the tailbone. Exhale, the right leg out reaches. Both elbows reach toward the left thigh and draw the low belly down. Inhale back centrally. I'll just talk through one more. I'm pretty sure you're knowledgeable at these. And curl the tailbone. Exhale, elbows reach right, left leg out reaches. Draw low belly down. Inhale to center. Curl tailbone, exhale, right leg reaches out, elbows reach toward that left thigh. Draw the low belly down. All right, inhale, center. Let's do three more on each side. We'll do those on our own. Outreaching through the leg to both engage the leg and to open up the hip.
we set the head down when we are done. Here's we are almost. You can set the head down, the feet down. With your block nearby, we'll set up the bridge. We'll be going through some Varasana uh, pieces. So inhaling with the feet hip width. So you can feel your breath spreading the backside of your ribs toward the ground. Exhaling, shift the tailbone toward the sky, the buttock lifts, the spine lifts. And as we enter bridge, we can use the block to support the hips. All right, I'll talk you through. The right hand will reach down and grab the right ankle and we'll draw that right foot back. Now, if there's anyone having any pain in the low back, remember we can just stay. Okay. Grab that right foot. To the ground. And then breathing deeply, breathing well into the pelvis. From pelvis to collarbone. So let's practice spreading the breath along that quite large tract of our body, the front side, from hip to collarbone. So changing the shape, the perceived shape of our breath, our breath field. We'll release the right foot to change sides. Left hand will grab left foot. We're drawing it back. Your legs subtly. It's not a large physical movement, but a perceived muscular, um, an inner movement, a muscular movement. There you go. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll want that that motion of bringing those inner legs together later. That will that will be helpful. And then we'll release that back down to the ground and from our bridge.
brown dolphin. So once you've lowered, we'll turn to a side and landing. stance for twisting horse stance. Once we inhale back center, we'll switch sides. Twisting to the left. All right, inhaling back centrally. And now release the hands from the thigh. And standing up for a moment, just to get your legs working with your full weight. When we go back into horse stance, we'll inhale the arms out to the side as we prepare for eagle. And then exhale. Look the left elbow over the right. Right over the left. Right over left. Release, inhale, unwind. And we'll stand the legs, or straighten the legs, and heel toe the feet in. And now we'll work some uh, doll. We'll go elbows under shoulders, knees under hips. Exhale, come into dolphin. Release, setting the knees down. We'll 
we'll do some lunges at the wall. Uh, get any any padding that you require. And we'll get that cooking. So I'm starting left knee in the corner. Bringing the right foot to the ground and just gradually working the pelvis back, back toward the wall. If you have the balance, reach the arms up. Switch sides. So we're on our, so we're moving to our second set. If you're so if your balance allows, we'll go arms overhead.
We'll stand at the top of mat. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Place hands down. Exhale, step back, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, lunge. Hands down, exhale, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, stand, reach up. Exhaling, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, step back, lower, to ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower, downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, left foot forward, fold. Inhale, stand, reach arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Chair pose, inhale, bend knees, reach arms overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, step or lightly jump feet back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior two. The subtle tailbone, let, let the melting down of the shoulders, the tailbone kind of bring us back into the legs, feeling the legs. Chest opener, extended warrior chest opener. Inhale the right arm to the thigh, raise the left. And now exhale, lift, lift the left arm up and reach back. So as you're reaching back, remember not just an arm move, a whole rib cage turns, a whole rib cage articulates. Bring breath into that turning, twisting ribcage, articulating it even more dynamically. Okay, uh, interlock. Inhaling, lower the left hand. Lower the right armpit next to the thigh. Keep lifting the chest forward and reaching the chest back. This can be done with or without arms going anywhere. Keep lifting the chest forward as you reach the left chest back. Connecting arms is just a little extra thing. My observation is the arms may not help us, connecting the arms may not help us feel and breathe into the chest and into the upper back, but we can certainly move, lift, and articulate the upper chest and the upper back with or without the arms connecting. So check and feel if you can discover breath behind the sternum, the upper sternum, the mid sternum. If not, you might just let your hands go and use your feet to push and move that part of your chest toward the front of your mat.
Okay, releasing the hands, half moon. Inhale the right hand to the ground, outside the foot, in front of the foot, as we raise the left. The left foot hip height. Same principle, lift the chest forward. And inhale, set the left foot down to the ground, four feet behind you. Warrior one. Chest opener uh, with interlaced hands behind back. Inhale, again, chest lifts towards sky. Exhale, the knuckles reach toward the back edge of the mat. In warrior one stance. Release the hands. Now inhaling, we'll set the left uh, knee down. Padding is suggested. Both hands grab left foot. So lunge, grabbing foot with two hands, and letting the foot straighten the arms. I straighten the arms, I mean the elbows. As the elbows straighten, the chest gets to open or feel that bias. So my observation with this pose is most of us won't push the foot into the hands enough to get the chest opening move. Be careful with the balance. You want to do it suddenly, but keep pushing the foot into the hands, back, back, until the arms straighten, and then a little bit more until the opening occurs for you around the chest and the shoulder. There you go. Now, as long as you're structuring this pose with firmly planted feet, some of those abdominals engaged, there need not be any back uh, harshness or compression. This can be done and felt without compressing the low back. Release, inhale, set the hands down. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the left foot forward, warrior two.
originally the extended warrior the chest opener variation here we inhale the left forearm to the thigh raising the right arm okay not merely propping here but reach the right arm reach it outward reach it backward Inhaling, lowering the right arm, lowering the left armpit next to the thigh for interlock. Now, I get that altitude, lift the chest forward, and then reach the hands behind your hip. Half moon, release hands. Inhaling, set left hand down. Outside foot in front of foot. Draw right leg up. Hip height. And inhale, we'll set that right foot down. Warrior one. We're setting that a good four feet behind us. And the chest opening, interlacing hands behind back. There you go. Deepen into that stance. So it's both a leg and a shoulder move. The bottom of the spine as well as a top of the spine move. Deepen into that stance. Release, release hands, inhaling, we'll set the right knee down, padding recommended. Now two hands, grab right foot. This is a chest opening lunge where both hands grab the right foot. If your foot's getting a little slippery or sweaty, you can use a, your strap or use a towel to hold on to your foot. Let the foot pull enough, sufficiently. The arms do straighten. Remember, I can still have those shoulders pulling forward. Let the foot draw the shoulders, the arm bones, back. Okay. 
And then play with feeling breath, articulate those uppermost ribs. release. Inhale, we'll set the foot down, the hands down. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhaling, downward dog. Inhale, step a little lighter, jump feet forward, monkey. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend knees, reaching up. And then exhale, stand, hands to heart. So we're going to get into dancer. If you have a strap, you can open up the loop. Big. Bigly. Yeah. So you, I don't think you need any information from me. Dancer both sides. We have time to do each side twice. So enjoy, take your time, use a wall. If you wanna steady yourself um, even more, I'm gonna use a wall. And uh, we'll meet back in a little bit to unwind. Step in, ground going, 
side of the left or the right side. Up front, hold it. The armpits, the shoulders, the elbows, those arm lines help to get into those upper ribs. So I imagine you're probably nearing the uh, completion of both sides, both rounds. Um, our cool down will be a twist. It will be a hip move. If you can get um, access to your wall, we'll set up maybe, maybe 10 inches or a foot from the wall. I've got the long edge of my mat next to the wall. This is so we can do twisting pigeon toward the thigh. And if you have a wall, do use it. You'll see the benefit of using it in a moment. So once you have that set up, we'll inhale the right knee between the hands. I should also say, it's my right um, hip that's set up nearest the wall. So my right hip near my right leg forward. My right thigh runs parallel to the, the wall. So step one, just setting up this right leg so it feels adequately and sweetly tensioned. Do this by walking the left leg back until it's, it's satisfying to you. And then on exhale, we'll hook that left elbow over the right thigh. Now it may or may not touch and that's fine. We're placing both hands on the wall, shoulder width. So as we inhale, pull, pull on the wall. So the chest and the ribs move forward. In this way, we cannot collapse on the diaphragm. We cannot collapse in the guts. And then exhaling, you can use the wall to press, turning to your right.
and releasing inhale will unwind. And we can slide that right knee back. We need to make a turn, so we'll turn 180 degrees, putting our left side nearest the wall. And we'll move into the pigeon by drawing the left knee forward. So this first move, just getting into the pigeon, is, is the most essential setup for this. I want my left thigh parallel with the wall. My pelvis facing basically forward. Getting that sweet amount of tension by walking that right foot into place. Usually backward, sometimes to the left. Next to breath, it's going to be a big twist. And we'll exhale the right elbow over the left thigh. And we place both hands on the wall. And release. Inhaling will unwind. Sliding the left knee under the hips. Exhaling downward dog. Let's release, let's set up for some rest, set the knees down, have a seat. And choose a restful position to you, whether that's legs up the wall or, it's actually a really nice one. Shavasana. Whatever allows your body to know a stillness moment. The movement is great. There's so much richness in the physiological movement and the learning and the mapping. And the stillness brings yet another very subtle degree of information. And we can just simply feel the body moving in the direction of stillness. So we're not attempting to stop anything. It's allowing the body to move in the direction of a 
that may feel like resolution or completeness or stillness. Some people say equilibrium. You might experience the distribution of your breath, your feeling awareness in a new way after your physical practice than before. So the feeling awareness is the action. The shape of our feeling awareness, the shape of our breath field is what we're doing, and it's how we're doing. We could configure this anyway. And this is what we have access to today. And now, when you're ready, bend knees. Turn to a side and press to seated. That felt like a lot of hour. <laughs> Namaste.